Hey everyone, uh, this video is meant to cover using group tags in a word-based gen template and go a little bit more in depth uh, than the examples that uh, DocuSign's documentation has. Um, the use case here is uh, manipulating a table full of products um, and grouping those products by uh, various uh, attributes. In the example they have in their documentation, uh, they're using an opportunity parent with opportunity line items children and then grouping them by a field called category in order to have a table of their software items, their service items, and their hardware items. This is great, but if you use Salesforce CPQ, you might be using CPQ objects instead of the standard opportunity objects. So I wanted to show you an example, uh, a successful example that actually works because quite frankly, when I tried to reproduce this example verbatim um, in my own environment, uh, it didn't work. So um, first off, I want to show you the example quote. And for those who have looked at other videos um, that I've posted, um, this will look familiar. But what I have here is uh, an example table with four columns. And uh, what I've tried to do here is highlight the, um, the tags uh, that are most important for accomplishing um, a quote parent with quote line items children and grouping those using the actual uh, group feature inside Salesforce. Um, so if I go to an example quote here, and this is the part that I think DocuSign doesn't really take into consideration um, because they don't necessarily pay as close of attention to CPQ items as they do to standard Salesforce objects. Um, there is a feature inside uh, Salesforce CPQ that allows you to, in the quote line editor, group your products and then uh, apply different parameters uh, to, those, uh, to those groups. So in this situation here, we have you know, group one and group two. And these groups, again, are also dynamic in the way that you never know if you're gonna have one group, two group, three groups, and number of groups. Um, so the way to accomplish this uh, inside your template is to um, first use the group select tags. And instead of opportunity and opportunity line items, you'll be using SBQQ quote and SBQQ line items in order to, um, again, establish that relationship. Uh, now, shout out to the uh, adoption consultant team at DocuSign because these highlighted portions where you see tag and tag ref um, aren't mentioned in their documentation, um, at least not in a spot that I could find. And including these was the only way I was able to get this to work. So what I did, you'll see here that in these groups, I have group one and group two as the names of my groups. So I created a custom group name field that lives on the quote line, because those are the children that I'm grouping, uh, that references uh, that name. So this, you know, uh, the first table that will show will be titled group one, the second will be group two, or it will use whatever custom name I put in here, test group, for example. So having the tag for group name um, at the top of your group select tag was key and making sure that any content selects um, also have a tag ref was also key. Again, the example that they put in their documentation for this, if I scroll down here, is you know a simple sentence that says, here are all the insert category items. Um, so I represented this just by using the group name and doing a simple content select that says, I want the group name to be titled at the top. Uh, the next key piece was in the table row select. Um, you need to have a group items tag inside the table row select that references the child relationship here. In this case, because I'm doing quote line items, it is sbqq underscore underscore line items underscore underscore R. Um, the tag also uh, requires that you have a row tag um, for every content select uh, tag that you have in here. So I'm inserting 
uh, the name uh, as well as the description and concatenating those together. Uh, I'm also doing list price, additional discount, and net total. Um, so this was very key to getting this to function um, and making sure that these things display uh, you know, display as the example shows. Um, finally, you need to end your group and have this outside of the table. You need an end group uh, finishing tag um, to make this uh, to make this work. Um, so, just to summarize and again get through the uh, the high level description, your group select tag um, needs to have the right relationships. So again, if you're using CPQ like me, it will likely be quote and quote line items. Um, and be sure to include your tags within the group uh, tag and tag ref in your content selects. Um, these, please feel free to use this example. Um, I'll post the, uh, uh, the markup language uh, in the description, but let me know if you've run into other use cases for this. Um, I'm hoping that this uh, helps other CPQ and DocuSign users, but I'm interested to hear if there are edge cases or ways around this uh, that other people have found. So please share them. Thank you.